Rated T for Teen. Sega. The Incredible Hulk video game has its roots in the 1960s when Stan Lee and Jack Kirby unleashed one of the world's biggest comic book characters. When you take something that's a combination of Frankenstein and Jekyll and Hyde, how could it not be good? 62 and 63 were really big years for Marvel, where Stan Lee and company produced quite a number of our major icons. I think the Hulk is our most childlike character in many ways because, you know, he's, he's all about impulse and about, he's just one walking id. And, and basically, if the Hulk wants to smash, the Hulk will smash. One of the funnest things to do in a video game is to destroy stuff and to, you know, blow up stuff. And Hulk is the kind of character that just, that's all he's about. When it came to the philosophy behind the Hulk's <laughs> origins, Stan Lee turned to science. You may not suspect this, but I am not the world's greatest scientist. When I got to the Hulk, I said, well, the cosmic rays worked out pretty good. What other kind of rays are there? And I said, gamma rays sounds good. So I figured there'd be a gamma ray bomb and he'd be exposed to that. Now, I have no more idea what a gamma ray is. That, I mean, it, but it sounds good. Many fans relate to the tragic and persecuted character, and Stan Lee is right there with them. I don't know who's more tragic, Bruce Banner, who is so deathly afraid of becoming the Hulk, or the Hulk, who is so endangered all the time, and also hates Bruce Banner and doesn't want to be Bruce Banner, and you wonder how we can sympathize with him? He's the most pathetic monster on Earth. Either the monster's trapped inside of him or he's trapped inside the monster, and he goes back and forth and uh, really can't control it. But it's, it's, you know, it's all about anger management. You know, you drop him into a situation, drop him in the middle of a city, what happens? I mean, that's just the great thing about him. He's, he's kind of a, you know, he's a demon in a bottle and he just blows up and you don't know what's gonna happen. And so that's the thing we really have to pay off on in the video game is being able to drop him in there and, and see what happens. The only remaining item on Stan Lee's list for this new character was a catchy name. I gave him the name The Hulk. And I said, but it seems to need something. I said, how about The Incredible Hulk? And the next installment will examine the relationship between licensor Marvel, game publisher Sega, and game developer Edge of Reality, and how all three came together on The Beast Within, the making of The Incredible Hulk. <laughs>